Hello and welcome to a new vlog in which I put the camera in my face and I feel instantly self-critical. Hi! I have missed uh, vlogging on YouTube and I did a YouTube vlog very recently so I thought let's do another one. Even though I don't have time, uh, I vlog twice a month over on my Patreon um, and it keeps me busy. But I do, I, I miss sharing here and stuff so I thought I would. Welcome to a new vlog, I already said that. It is the 1st of October and I'm really excited because that means that today, the first episode of my podcast, Not A Real Artist, together with Tamara Sagatevan, is up on the internet, like so on all of the official podcast platforms, which is just so cool. It's like so cool to see our little podcast uh, logo up on platforms such as Apple and Spotify. It just looks so legit. Um, it's really exciting. The first episode is called Not a Real Artist and it's all about imposter syndrome and limiting beliefs and we just have interesting conversations about it and interesting insights and I really hope that you will give it a listen and I hope that you will like it and I hope that it will make you feel inspired or like give you aha moments, that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, I really hope you all check it out. Also, you remember the um you remember the um the embroidery floss thing from my last vlog where I was like I'm gonna make friendship bracelets and then the whole vlog was just me having COVID basically. Um I have made quite a few uh in the meantime. Uh and as I am saying that I realized that none of them are here, so I just need to go and grab them so I can show you. Oh this is so typically me. I wanna show you something and then I've like lost it. Anyway. I have, I'm gonna describe it to you now. No, let me show you the other ones. Okay, I made this one, which I am really pleased with. This was like my first one where I kind of really grasped the, um, like how it works, how the patterns work, like the logic of it and stuff. Um, I made this to help myself do the thing. Uh, I've taught Zephyr how to make friendship bracelet. He is working on this one. He picked these colors. I quite like it. Um, and then I have designed my own first friendship bracelet, which I'm working on right now. Uh, let me show you what it looks like so far. Um, looks like this. It's kind of like, it's like an asymmetrical chevron pattern. So where the, um, the black and the white um, meet together. So rather than being like black, white, black, white chevrons, it's a black, white chevron and then a white, black chevron. So, um, and I saw that Bette Midler's dress for the Hocus Pocus 2 premiere was kind of like that. So <laughs> that was a complete co coincidence. But anyway, so I tried to make a friendship bracelet like that, um, created the pattern for it so that's all um super fun like it took me like several days to figure this out like i kept trying to make the pattern and it just kept not working out um but now i have worked it out and um it's it's going well um and then there's one other friendship bracelet i made which was uh black with green hearts like kind of bright green hearts but i cannot find it um i even checked whether i wasn't already wearing it because i was like i know i saw it i know i meant to wear it and now i can't find it anyway I made that one as well. So um, it's Saturday right now, uh, which means, you know, kind of like uh, boring kind of domestic stuff. <laughs> um, gotta clean the fish tank, uh, gotta put the laundry away. Um, yeah, but um, I also plan to play Gartic Phone with the kids in a little bit, which I am ridiculously excited about. In case you don't know what that is, it's basically it's like a drawing game. It's kind of like Pictionary, but you play it online. You play it either on your phone or your computer. And uh, there are different game modes, but my favorite one is basically where uh, each person, unbeknownst to the other people, writes a sentence, kind of like, you know, like a unicorn eating toast or um, frog jumping over the Eiffel Tower, something like ridiculous. And then that sentence goes to the next player who will then draw draw it, then their drawing goes to the next player and that player has to guess what it is and they write down, for example, they will write down rhinoceros eating a cookie and then, you know, instead of like unicorn eating toast, is that what I said? And then the next person will draw 
from their description so it kind of like devolves into like hilarity um, and I have played this with friends before but I've never played it with my kids and um, I look forward to introducing them to it so that's what's on the menu today talk to you later Saturday evening, had a full day of being mum with kids. Um, my kids are uh, 9 and 11, which are amazing ages, uh, like as in it's not so exhausting and stuff, but having said that, um, it's still pretty full on to do solo parenting for a day and do lots of activities with them like we played games and uh, we did some baking I uh, had to like get them to do their homework and do their chores and I guess by the end of it uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of done now so <laughs> uh, I'm on the couch with um, a little selection of Dutch licorice I bought an a embarrassingly large amount of licorice uh, back from Holland like three kilos or something and I am like slowly slowly working my way through it I share it with the kids as well actually I'm like trying to like introduce them into Dutch licorice um, it's going well it's going well and um, I don't know I don't know if you can hear it in the background or if I get demonetized for it but I am going to be playing a bit of Assassin's Creed um, which I am enjoying very much I like play it in very small increments like 20 minutes here 30 minutes there uh, but I love it I love it I love being a bit, a bit of a geek and a bit of a gamer I need to get my gaming fix somewhere so anyway uh, that's um, that's what I'm doing this evening um, oh actually I, I made really good progress on my um, friendship bracelet let me just quickly show you um, it's like really looking like something so yes it's um, it's looking good I'm excited about it. Probably finish it tomorrow. It probably doesn't need very much. Doesn't need very, very much longer. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy my evening and um, I'll speak to you tomorrow, maybe. Hello. It's um, Sunday. It's homework time. What we're doing is um, me and Zephyr are doing kind of an art project. There's Zephyr. Here's the, here's the artist. We're doing like a theatre. We're making a toy the way that Victorian kids would have made toys out of a shoebox. I don't know if they would have had shoeboxes, but like a little theatre this is going to become. And um, we're creating the characters. Zephyr is drawing the characters. So this is the mum. This is the son. 
Um, I'm, I am currently cutting out uh, from cardboard uh, the same shape and then yeah then they're going to like go into the little th uh, shoebox theater and they're gonna be like a family having having where are you? <laughs> You're hiding behind me. <laughs> They're gonna be like a family in their dining room or something, all designed by the artist. <laughs> so yeah, fun times. <laughs> Narkiest mood of narkiest moods. I hate having to do my kids' homework. <laughs> it's like being forced to do activities when I don't actually need any. Um, I don't need any help trying to think of activities to do with my kids. Um, and you know, like those types of art projects, they're they're too difficult for them to do by themselves. Anyway, so I'm like I feel like I've been servicing my kids and my household all day uh, and I don't get to have any kind of either time to myself or like quality time so anyway I have just opted out <laughs> and I'm meeting Andrew and and Zephyr at the garage uh, and I'm bringing lunch I've got, got some nice uh, pasta in there so we're gonna um I'm gonna just like opt out of uh, the obligations and relax. terrible because I was filming myself. <laughs> it was terrible because I know I'm being filmed. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. That's terrible. You call yourself a filmmaker. Oh, I forgot to press record. You forgot you got... to... I got a bullseye and you forgot to press record. I did. Oh, really <laughs> but look, it really happened. It, really it did happened. really happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's an actual bullseye. <laughs> morning precariously balanced camera we're gonna go with it it is Monday morning I didn't have to do the school run so I had a glorious lie-in which is a pretty nice way to start a Monday to be honest yeah work day got a few um, day job things to do like time sensitive stuff so I'm gonna knock those out first thing and then hopefully I will have time to what do I need to do I need to take pictures of my Patreon stickers and postcards so that I can put those up. I would like to do my nails. So I'm wearing like a black and white outfit and I think I want to do my nails like black, white, black, white, black, or white, black, white, black, white. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but like that's what I would like to do for my kind of like pre-Halloween nails. And then they last probably about two to three weeks. So then after that, I will probably do something a bit more like actual Halloween-y, like something with pumpkins. I don't know. It's just fun to think about and to do. Not that I only do Halloween nails uh, around Halloween, actually, it's like a year round thing anyway, but you know. What else? Oh yeah, podcast. So we launched our podcast on uh, Saturday 
the first episode is called the same as the podcast itself. It's called Not a Real Artist, and it's all about imposter syndrome and limiting beliefs. And would you believe it that um, for me, when I put out a podcast, it brings up quite big feelings of imposter syndrome. Living by example. <laughs> it was interesting to what be interrupted. All right, interrupted. What was I talking about? Imposter syndrome made me feel imposter syndrome. And um, still, um, there's obviously like the, I don't know, anyone can make a podcast. Anyone can like do these things. As in like, it's available to anyone with a microphone and an internet connection. It, it, but it just like, it feels like you're being really legit and then you're putting it out there and you're telling people about it. And I think that because we were working on it for such a long time, like we worked on it for about six months. I mentioned in the episode, in the first episode that it's my birthday. My birthday was like six months ago. That's how long we've been working on it. it it's like, we, because we've been working on it for such a long time and it's been in production, the focus of it has been very much practical. Like, you know, like, what are we doing? How are we recording it? Like, how are we editing it? How, what do you need to do to get it out into the world? All those things. And then all of a sudden, when it came up to the date of releasing it, it's like, oh, wow, we've made this thing and we need all the technical stuff to go right. But then it's going to be out there and then it's out of our hands. And it's just... I don't know, it's really nerve-wracking and we don't have influence over what people will say, what they will think, whether anybody actually listens to it, whether anybody actually likes it. Um, so all of a sudden, all of that hit me on like Friday and Saturday, all of a sudden it was like, oh wow, gosh, um, all the other stuff. So that was interesting. Um, and then I have been really good in not looking at the stats. I have not looked at the stats. Um, I have only obviously interacted with uh, what people have been saying. So people who have left comments or people who have shared um, and it's been really cool. So whoever, like the people who have listened to it and have told us like that they have listened to it or have shared it uh, seem to really like it and it seemed to really resonate with them. And that is, that's just massive. That is all I could have ever hoped for, all we ever hoped for, you know, that that it like finds a home in people's hearts where they're listening to it and thinking, oh yeah, I recognize myself in that, or that's good advice, or uh, although I'm not a big fan of giving advice, but like that's like, that's something I can learn from. That That's the thing I want most. And that seems to be the thing that is happening with um, at least some of the people who are listening to it, which is very gratifying 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 cheers i'll drink a cup of tea to that so, so thanks everyone who has listened to it um um did i say watch oh I, it's like it's monday morning yo and i had a lie in i haven't had my normal morning walk that wakes me up so okay let's see i've been yakking for three minutes so let's not do that for much longer yeah so let's get started with the day let's do some day job work so i can have time for other rt things and nails things and then um later on i have choir rehearsal uh choir is a whole different ball game recently we have really gone up a gear we are doing a lot of uh a cappella stuff last uh, uh last concert we um Oh my god, I can see out of the window a pigeon that is playing with a like curtain cord that is outside of the window. That's hilarious. Oh, it's stopped now. I wish I could get some footage of this. Maybe he's gonna... I'm gonna like... I'll interrupt my update about choir to like film the pigeon. He's stopped now. It's the pigeon on the left by the left window. Come on, pigeon. It was so funny. Do it again. Like a cat playing with a piece of string. Oh, this is so typical. You turn on the camera and the animal stops doing what they're doing. I think that pigeon is in league with my cat. Do it. There it is. There it is. Yes, do it. Yes. Yes, it's playing with the piece of string. Oh, this is my favorite part of today. Okay, I'm glad you saw that. Um, what, choir. Oh, yes. Yeah. So last concert we did, uh, half of the concert was unaccompanied. So it was a cappella. So it was challenging. And then this time we are singing stuff. We were, we are singing a song in Latin and we're singing other like unaccompanied stuff as well. Oh, the, the thing in Latin is also unaccompanied, I think. 
uh, we have less time than during the first half of the year. So we do two concerts a year. The first concert was end of July, so we had like pretty much seven months to do it. Um, the second concert is in December, and it's kind of like mid-December rather than late December, obviously, uh, for obvious reasons. And uh, personally, I missed a lot of sessions um, in August due to holiday, but then also due to illness. Um, I, I missed like five or six sessions, so I feel woefully behind uh, on learning a whole uh, program for a concert. And the quality of the choir has also gone up a lot, like, um, you know, not that it was bad in any way before, but everybody who is in it now is just, they're just such amazing singers. Um, and so that means we're just like working on more challenging things, uh, going at a faster pace, and but then also going at a faster pace because I missed so much. So it feels like a faster pace for me. So it's like, it's super fun. Um, and we're singing some great stuff, but it's also super challenging. Uh, and I'm busy. <laughs> I haven't really uh, done as much practice as I should. So um, I should probably do some of that this week. Okay, now I'm going to go and start my day uh, and have my breakfast and stuff. And I will uh, check in with you a little bit later. <laughs> just did my nails. I tried to do them quite quickly. Um, I don't know. Hmm. I um, I showed you the brand that I'm using, um, but I don't actually know if I'd recommend them. I think I've said this before. Um, they're pretty expensive for what they are because they're just nail stickers and I combine them with like a manually applied top coat that I then stick in the, um, the UV light. So they're not um, semi-cure gel nails where you put the nails on, you harden them and then they're done. Those are great. I love those. They're not super available yet um, at an affordable rate in the UK. Oh, I was going to say, oh yeah, like these are really like changeable quality. Like these white ones were really hard to apply it's like I kept getting like bubbles and they wouldn't stick whereas these black ones applied quite nicely they're looking good but yeah no the white ones ugh, looks ugly up close I mean nobody will notice but I know and I know what it feels like to apply them I like to you know when they work well it's like a little zen thing and when they don't work well it's just a frustration so I'm like using all of these up and I don't think I will be buying more of those I'm like waiting for Vanity Table to start selling to the UK. They don't currently, um, but anyway. Um, yes, so I've just done this and now I'm going to record a 
art journal flip because um, I might have mentioned this already. I finished my um, Moleskine crinkly sketchbook and I want to do a flip through. It's going to be pretty chunky flip through because this is a it's got loads of pages so i'm gonna do i'm gonna do two different flip throughs one is going to be for patreon it's going to be the one where i chat through all of the different pages about what i was thinking what supplies i was using what techniques where it ended up all that kind of stuff and then i'm also going to do a just a quicker flip through just set to music for youtube um which you will obviously see appear here at some point. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. That was a lot of talking to the camera for uh, that art journal flip, but um, I'm happy to say that is in the can. So did two videos, one without talking, I mean one with a little introduction and then just flipping through, and the other one with lots and lots of explanation and kind of like talking through um, my creative process and having like some insights from kind of going through it and seeing what was in there from April 2021 all the way to September 2022. It's very interesting. Um, if you have um, sketchbooks that you've worked in over a period of time, I highly recommend having a look at the kind of the progression, both in terms of art, but also in terms of how you felt about the art or any kind of insights that you got from just sketching and getting to know your own art style or getting to know yourself better and like developing your own art style, I guess is how I should say it. Um, so yeah, very cool. I am going to, ugh, I'm getting a tired arm from holding the camera. I'm going to go back to my computer. No, maybe I need to do some brainstorming of a video that I need to make. Maybe I'll do some brainstorming first and then I'm going to go back to my computer which I need to tidy up because I'm running out of space so I need to make some room, need to offload some footage, archive some um, video footage sp specifically because that's obviously um, takes up a lot of space and then I might uh, be able to do a little bit of editing um, of some of the stuff that I have filmed. Yeah, cool. All right, I will um, check in with you later. Secret. I'm not a morning person. Morning person. I mean, it's only eight o'clock. It's like, it's not that early, but, um... <laughs> um, hang on. What was I gonna do? I'm on my way downstairs to make myself a cup of tea, but, um, right now, let me just talk to you for a second. I always... Well, not always, but like, I often want to film a vlog stuff uh, at my choir rehearsal, but I just never get a chance. I'm always too busy, you know, singing and paying attention. So, sorry, no vlog footage. And um, I also, I'm gonna, f a little bit that I'm gonna speak the English. Um, I'm gonna close out this vlog. My mouth really doesn't want to move. I need my cup of tea. <gasps> Uh, I'm gonna close out this vlog because, well, because I want to. Was there any art in this vlog? I don't think so. Oh well, next time. Um, I am an artist, I swear. Although I did just make a podcast called Not A Real Artist, so, you know. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, tell me what you related to, even if, you know, did I share anything that was relatable? I don't know. I don't know. This is just my life. Um, and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.